song. I love that song. I love that song. Hey, I'm Keith Stevens, and welcome to I Love That Song. It's our podcast and 98.5 KTIS. Katie Nicole, welcome. Oh, thank you. You have been, I'd say, my. I've been most excited about interviewing you out of all the oh. times that we've interviewed people this week. You are just number one oh. to me to interview. Oh, that's so, so sweet. So it's a thrill to have you here. Yeah. Welcome and high five. Awesome. Because we've, we've <laughs> really been uh, wanting to spend time with you and talk to you so much. So yeah. how are you doing? I'm doing good. I mean, I'm excited to be here. I bet you are. Yeah. You've had an incredible year. Yeah. And um, we'll talk about your music and your songs and your art and all that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm sure you have a lot to share about that. For sure. I um, do. <laughs> how are you feeling now coming off of last year? Um, you know, I'm, I'm feeling kind of relieved that I get a little break because a, a lot of things happened. Um, and it was very busy last year, very mm -hmm. chaotic. Honestly, mm -hmm. there was so much happening that I was a little bit overwhelmed. And mm -hmm. so now I finally had some space to process through it. Yeah. Um, and really kind of like just sit in the gratitude of, wow, this is what the Lord has done in my life. And it's really cool to just look back on and, you know, see how, how God has moved in, in not just my life, mm -hmm. in many people's lives right. as well. How challenging is it for you to sit and just reflect on how God has moved, given all that you're busy with and all that the has happened? You know, I mean, I have to be intentional about, you know, finding right. the space for that because I don't, I don't ever want to go through my life not taking time mm -hmm. to give thanks mm -hmm. um, to the God who has put me here, you mm -hmm. know, and he has done great things in my life and I I love him so much and I yeah. love him so deeply and I want to give him that time you know it's not yeah. it's not that I have to it's that I want to and so I try to find time in my day just even if it's just a moment you know just have some yes time with the Lord. and isn't it great to have a little margin in your life right now oh, so like good. a little breather for sure for sure I you know I <laughs> feel like it's like we're thawing out like if you've been working really hard in many months yeah. and many months and you're hitting it hard and then finally you get ah oh, I get a chance that's very true. I actually feel like this has been such a good time for me to rest. Mm -hmm. You know, God calls us to rest. And so right. I want to, you know, be obedient to that and yeah. find those days of the week where it's like, I have time to mm -hmm. specifically take to, you know, spend time with the Lord, you know? And I think Sabbath is technically, you know, when we go to church and we have Sundays and, but for me, sometimes my Sundays are actually work. Mm -hmm. I'm out on the road. And so I really have to be intentional about finding a Sabbath. So, um, so that's been a yeah. very important part of kind of taking that time to be with the Lord. So take me back in the last week or so, or two weeks, what have you, what have you learned on your Sabbath? Yeah. Like yeah. what's something that you're like, wow, God really impressed that upon my heart. Yeah, absolutely. You know, just, interesting him in my life, you know, there's a lot of things happening and sometimes there's a lot of unknowns as well. Mm -hmm. And so I just have been learning that I need to give it more to God than try to hold on to it, you know, mm -hmm. cause I, I've, I think there's even a part of me that wants to hold on even when, when I think I've given it all away and right. I've surrendered. It's like, sometimes there's that part of me that's selfish and it's like, well, but maybe it's, it's not going to work out if I, if I give it all away, you know, kind of yes. thing. And I don't want to do that. Yeah. I want the Lord to have full control because he knows best. He knows my heart inside right. and out. And it's like, I don't want to ever be so like self-consumed that I can't acknowledge that he is an almighty, all powerful God right. who has full control over my my being. Right. It's like we're the co-pilot, but he's the pilot. Yeah. And, and it's so hard. That, But that is, you know what that is? That is childlike faith. Yeah. <laughs> and like, don't ever lose that. Absolutely. Because when you have that, then you're able to still soar in the things of God, mm -hmm. I think, and not be muddled down in the day to day or into the weeds mm -hmm. or distractions or even something that the enemy would yeah. want to take you into. Mm -hmm. But I think if we're willing to let go and just keep our hands open and say, Father God, I give it to you because yeah. I can't control this lane <laughs> in the highway. It's just too crazy. Yeah. But that's really good. So it's good you're taking time and I'm glad you have because you have a chance to re renew and restore. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Congratulations on In Jesus' Name. Thank you. <laughs> Where were you when you wrote that song? I was, I was actually in many different places because um, the song started as a completely different song than what you hear now. Um, when I posted a little clip to TikTok, it was just the bridge of another song. So that song that people were hearing wasn't 
what they thought it was. So I had to go and I had to finish that song. So once it started to impact people and we saw that this video had kind of circulated through the internet, we were like, okay, like me and my label, we were like, all right, let's, uh, let's see if we can get the song done. And so, uh, I tried so many different versions of that song. I was just writing and writing and writing and nothing was coming. And then there was one day that I had, you know, a really a tough day and a tough moment where I was incredibly anxious, um, was kind of caught up in, in a very sad place. And I just felt the Lord prompting me to get up and go to my piano. And so I got up and I sat down and I said, Lord, please, please speak something over me right now. And it was, I speak the name of Jesus over you and you're hurting and your sorrow. I'll ask my God to move. And I was thinking, I was like, wow, what a precious moment that I got to have with the Lord where he was saying to me, like, the name of, above all names, Jesus, was being spoken over me. Like, that was just, it brought so much peace. And I, I knew in that moment, I was like, this is what, this is what the song is going to become. And I am so grateful that it did because now I sing that song and it's an encounter with the Lord every single time. And so I know that those words were not my words, but they were, they were truly from the Lord. Thanks for spending time on that, on, on your wonderful song in Jesus' name. And I pray it heals, blesses many, many people in years to come and that they sense. What I love about you is your belief and you know the authority of the name of Jesus. Absolutely, absolutely. And, it's, well. and that's the greater thing than, than even the song. Thank thanks, you. Thanks, Katie. So with the song, God is in the story. <laughs> we think about it, that God's yes. in every chapter. He's in every story. Yes. Can you share about that song? Absolutely. That song came from a time in my life where I had been having conversations with a lot of people about my story. Um, it was very early in my signing process to a record label and things like that. So I was telling people about my life quite a bit. And um, one of the people that I had spoken to said, you know what I love about your story is that God is in it. You know, it, it was never about me. And I know that even f I've known that from an early age that it was never about me. And so when I wrote God is in the story, I wanted to remind others that that is, that is their story. God is in it. But sometimes it takes us recognizing that. And sometimes it takes us looking back and seeing God's handprint on every single moment. And I like, I believe that with my whole heart that God is in every single moment, even when we can't necessarily see him or we can't necessarily feel him he's in that moment with us um and so every night that you know I sing that song on a stage or even when I just hear it you know being played on the radio or whatever I'm just reminded of how beautiful it is that God is in every story you know I I went from it just being you know this is my story to this is this is us this is our story and I have I've also seen how, you know, through having Big Daddy Weave on that song, how it was also Mike's story and it was also the rest of the band's story. And so it was, it was so cool to have him on that song too, because, you know, I looked at him and I was like, you know what, this isn't my story. This is our story. This is us. And it was so cool to have him on that song and to, to just watch him pour his heart out in that song and also to speak about that song and, you know, his, um, his story with his brother's passing and, you know, just how beautiful it is when we can recognize, you know, the beauty of, of life, you know, and, and also just recognize that God has his way, you know, right. I know sometimes that's hard to, to accept maybe. But when we realize that this is God's way, not my way, it's so cool. It's so beautiful. It's and, really, it's amazing. And I think the hope is that sometimes when we don't see the answers yet, we may, but we do have this promise that God works all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So that's really different than God works all things together for good. Yeah. It's God works all things together for good for those who are uh, who love him and are called according to his purpose. So I think if we're surrendered to God, if we submit to him at his feet, if we, if we offer these things to him, you have the promise, Katie, and I have it, that he will work it for his good. Even if I don't understand it now and I can let it go, but I have that promise. And so it's not, I'm basing God on my circumstances. 
I'm rather giving my circumstances to him. Absolutely. And then yeah. knowing, right? Yeah. And there's a freedom in that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I found that freedom in my own life. And I think that yeah. is, it's incredible. And you want it for everybody else. You do. I know. It's kind of like, yeah. and you can't force someone to believe what you believe, but it's kind of like, but if I speak it to them, at least I said something, you know? Yeah. At least I said something. You said it. What's next musically for you? The next single that's coming out means a lot to me. And um, I'm very excited to share this new music. But I definitely think this next single is one that means... I don't want to say it means more than the other songs, but it definitely is a big part of my story. Good. And T- it talks, tell us about it. What's it called? And tell yeah, us the story. Yeah. It's called Hold On. And... Um, it's basically the story of the Lord speaking over my life in a, in a very dark season. Basically, I I wanted to give up. I wasn't I wasn't feeling like I was called to this purpose that I believe now, and I was afraid that there was no reason for me to be on earth, you know. And so, and I I feel like there are a lot of moments in my life where it, as harsh as this may sound, I felt like I was a waste of space in every room I walked into. You've got to be kidding me! Wait a minute, back, <laughs> back up a minute. I know. I I think it, it's. But you had those times. I think we all have those we times. Do. And so yeah. the reality is we we're, we do have our own doubts and fears sometimes. So you went, yeah. you experienced some of that. But I also think there was a time in my life where I'm not, I wasn't necessarily the person that you're seeing right now. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't know my purpose was God. I, I wanted to be in the world. I, I wanted to fit in and I right. didn't know yet that I was born to stand out, you know? What's powerful about you, what I know about you is you're not going to be sitting home on Thursday or wherever you are looking to see how many downloads we got or how many, but no. I know because no. that has nothing to do with it. No. It's so great. We're happy for you. You're happy for you, but I can tell that the shift in the focus is over here. Absolutely. That's where it is. Yeah. And, it, and it's different. Talk about yeah. that for me for a minute. Absolutely. You know, I think especially when in Jesus name released, mm-hmm. I, even then I, I think in the back of my mind, I was like, if nothing happens, that's okay. Yeah. Like if nothing happens, it has already reached so many people yeah. and like those people have been impacted. Yeah. And so the truth is, is that the numbers to me do not matter, but the real life yeah. that I touch mm-hmm. that matters to me that's abundantly gold. more than that. And it always will. And having a conversation with someone and having like these moments yes. or having gold. a moment when I'm you know playing a show, it's like, talking to someone and knowing, you know, like we're all facing yeah. struggles in our lives. Mm-hmm. And I want to, you know, with the songs that I write, yeah. bring some sort of peace into that, bring peace into your space. Yes. You know, I, I was reading something the other day that someone had sent me and they were talking about how I've given them a healing space to heal with God mm-hmm. because they didn't want to believe in God anymore. And they didn't want to go back to church because church had hurt them. Mm-hmm. And they said, I couldn't heal from it. But when I heard your songs, I realized that it wasn't about those places and it wasn't about those broken people that hurt me because mm-hmm. hurt people hurt people. And I realized that. And now listening to your music, I have a place to find peace in that. Mm-hmm. and have moments with God. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's, that's it right there. If that was mm-hmm. the only person who ever sent me a message like that, it would be, I have accomplished everything. Mm-hmm. When a band has played its songs and then you come on stage and play your songs and then you, you come on and you sing in Jesus name, <laughs> what do you feel as you're singing that? You know what? Every time I step on a stage, I am incredibly attentive to the spirit. I don't want to get on the stage and not let the spirit move because the spirit is the only way that you have this power to reach. You could reach someone miles away because the spirit does not have a limit to where the spirit is, you know, like the presence of, of God is, is humongous. You can go to the ends of the earth and he will find you there. His presence will be there. Well, how can we pray for you, Katie Nicole? Man, just, um, right now in my life, I have definitely struggled to, you know, stay on this path. I mean, we're always kind of falling off and, you know, trying to do things our own way. And like I said before, I, you know, God's trying to teach me how to trust him more. 
And I think falling off of this path can mean just so many things for me, but definitely being distracted by the world and by the things of this world. And it just standing in the way of what I know to be the the real true purpose of what I do in my life. And whether that's, you know, in my day-to-day life or in my career life, just staying so fully focused on the Lord and what he wants me to do. Again, being attentive, attentive to the spirit because it really takes doing that over and over and over again. And so just praying for my my faithfulness, I guess, in this situation. Great. Well, I want to pray for you. So yeah. let's, let's do that now. Let's do it. Father God, thank you for Katie Nicole. Thank you, Lord, for her heart, for her openness to hear your voice. And God, we just pray and, and uh, bring her before you and say, Lord, protect her heart. Protect her, Lord, in this next season of her life. We are so grateful, like an oasis in the desert today, that she has had time to have water in the desert. She has had time for restoration to renew her soul and her strength. God, I pray that during this time of restoration, you will help her to mount up like wings as eagles and to uh, run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. Lord God, that she would wait upon you and renew her strength because she's going to have busy days ahead. But God, I would just pray you protect her heart, guide her, help her to continue to listen to you in all circumstances, and that she knows that um, he who has begun a good work in her is faithful to complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Bless her ministry and all that she does. We pray in Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. 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 Wow. Thank you, Katie, for your Thank time. Thank you. Appreciate You're it. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. That's been an edition of I Love That Song. Thank you for listening.